Hi, John Day here with what will be a rather quick lowdown video. I hope you'll find this useful. I'm going to show you in minutes how to create a SharePoint list from an Excel table of data by exporting it from Excel. Now, this is a newer version of an older video of mine, removing the redundant tools and functionality you no longer need. So I'm inside this stationary Excel workbook. And this is where people come in, go to a new row, and they add a new stationary ordering request. Before I go any further, what I need to do is I want to take this table and I want to export it to SharePoint as a brand new SharePoint list. So if I go back to my site, and from this site, I'll go into site contents. So you can see, this is a very clean, very new site, and it's got the standard list of apps in here. By the time I'm finished, there will be a new stationary list app sitting at the bottom somewhere. But before I go any further, when I go to export the Excel table to SharePoint, it's going to ask me for the web address. Now, I could grab it from here. Um, all I want is up to the name of the site it's going in, nothing else. Uh, there's a clean way of doing that. If you go to this icon in the top left corner of your site and right click it, you can choose to copy link depending on the browser you're using. So uh, this is Microsoft Edge. If I was in Google Chrome and right click, it says copy link address. Right, ready to go. So in Excel, the first thing I have to do with this table is I've got to uh, insert it into an Excel table object. And this is very important. So you can either select the table or you can put your cursor in the table, it doesn't matter. But when you go to the insert tab, click the table command, and then confirm the range of cells is your table. And if you have a header row at the top, and I do, I'm gonna say that my table does have headers, and that would turn them into the site column names. So I'm gonna click okay. And there's my new table. The significance of that object, like any Excel object is, when you click inside it, it displays a contextual tab, or at least one contextual tab. On this tab, the design tab in this case, I have to go to export, and export table to SharePoint list. Without that table object, I wouldn't be able to get to that command. Okay, give that a click. First thing it's going to pop up with is it's going to ask me for the address. So I'm going to get rid of whatever's in there and paste in that address. Give the list a name. I'm going to call this stationary. And a description, like I always say, give a description to do or explain whatever it's doing. Blah, blah, blah description and what I tend to do in case people don't know what this list is called and they're looking for it in my site I'm going to add some keywords so order purchase and paper and so on and so forth just you can add more words to that that is metadata that can is searchable okay click next when you click next it's going to first of all check your user account if you're not logged into your Excel application, it's going to ask you to log in with your username and password that you use for Office 365. And then it's going to check the site address exists. And then when it's done that successfully, you'll see it then comes to this process where it's A, giving you a list of all the columns it's going to create. And B, because of the data I've got in here, and I've got sample data that's allowed it to recognize the types of data each column is going to be defined as. Good, I'll click finish. It's done. There's the link. I'm not going to click that. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to return back to my site. And from my site, I'm just going to refresh the page. I'm going to press F5. And there is my stationary list. Magic. If I give it a click, there is the list. Your lists have a new look. We've made this list faster and easier to use. Is that right? Let's click next and see what they've said. Edit list items quickly. Automate tasks with flow. This is all the stuff that's been around for a while. Build a custom app with power apps. And in fact, what I'm going to do 
is I'm going to do a real world scenario based on a table of data going into Excel list and I'm going to build apps power apps I'm going to build flow I'm going to customize the view so if you want to see how a table of data can be um, converted into a really great solution that you would use any kind of solution I'm going to take you through some tips and tricks remember the Excel table of data needs to be inserted as a proper Excel table object from there you can use the export table to SharePoint list command from the tables contextual tab if you have any recommendations for new videos or any comments on the existing ones please contact me on these social networks and I will get back to you and I hope you enjoy this video stay safe and have fun